I will get back to you in a little short while. Let me come to the studio and Roslyn Asena, your story. Tell us what happened to you in your case. Uh, in my case, uh, my brother is uh, the second born. I am the first born. My brother went to Mombasa to work and uh, he is a bodybuilder of uh, these long buses, for example, like the Modern Coast. There is a time he worked for Modern Coast. Modern Coast could send him to Uganda, it could send him to Tanzania, and then back to Mombasa. Then after some time, he left the company and opened his own yard. It was during operating his own yard when he met the church. Now, how it started, the wife called us and said, uh, listen, your brother, nowadays he doesn't drink alcohol. Mm. Um, he is so good, he, we don't fight nowadays. And I, we asked her why, because you've been every other time complaining there are issues uh, what happened? She said uh, she was prayed for, he was prayed for, and we asked her, by who? Uh, there is a certain church, there is a preacher, who told him, if you drink alcohol again, your grave is already open, your casket is already open, you will not take six months from now. So you have to stop and he prayed for him. And from that day, it is close to three months, my husband doesn't drink. And we don't fight, we are at peace. Mm. He brings the money and I do everything that is required, we are good. Which family would hear that of their son and say it is wrong? In fact, we celebrated if, if now he has grown to that level, we say, in fact, we said that's a good church. Did you join the church? No. You didn't join? No, we did Why not. Why not? The church is in Malindi. I reside in Mukuru Kwaruben. My family resides in Vihiga. My mom and dad, they are in Vihiga, Mazu, yeah. Mazu village. So this is a communication on phone from Malindi. So now we encourage them to continue trusting in God, to continue making sure they are at peace. Then when things started going wrong, it is the same wife to my brother who raised an alarm and said, where we have reached, I think I'm going to drop going to this church. And we asked why? Because now we are told we should not go to hospital and the children should not go to school. In fact, when I've been pregnant, it has been a struggle going to the clinic. In fact, I did not go to give birth in hospital. That was the third born. And we told her, now that one is dangerous. You need to leave that church. And at some point there was that commotion within the, their setup in the family. And now the wife came back home. He told my parents, she told my parents, she also talked to me as the in-law, I'm the firstborn, as I said, and I gave my advice. And my parents also gave their advice and she went to their, to their people where she was born. The, those parents also sat them down and my brother followed her. And he went and said, I don't think I'm going back to that church. If I am supposed to leave uh, my family to drop it because of that church, I will drop the church. I better carry my family. Please forgive me, I will not go there. Then they went back to Mombasa. Come 2020, when COVID-19 is now on the rise, now the president says schools have been closed, COVID is in Kenya. And now my brother was at home and he claps his hands and says, you see, this is the right time for everybody in the whole world to know that Jesus has come. This is the time when everybody should know Jesus is supposed to take everybody. Can you now go back to school? Now, you wanted to go to university? You go. You wanted to go to 
makare, makerere, you go. Can all of you start going to school? And we kept quiet because now the schools have closed abruptly. Yeah. And uh, come schools open now 2021. 20, it was 2021. Yeah. He's at home. He has now come also back at home. And he says, he has the children. And the wife says he doesn't go to work. Has he left the cult then or is he still part? He's still there. He says I, he can't go to work because working is demonic. He, his children can't go to school because schools are satanic. They can't go to hospital, everything. And that, now, now that is when the whole family wakes up and says, not here. If children cannot go to school, take them back to Malindi, to, to, to Mombasa where you stay. Maybe that's a different Kenya. Yeah. But here, no. In fact, I had to use a local, uh, a local media who went at home just to find, we wanted to find out what exactly is, hap is happening. And he started preaching, he preached every other thing that is kind of weird. This is your brother now? This is my brother.